More than three years now after two Waukesha girls admittedly stabbed their friend hoping to see the fictional boogeyman Slenderman, they're about to stand trial. 15-year-old Anissa Wire pleaded guilty last month to a reduced charge of second-degree attempted intentional homicide. Still, jurors starting next week will decide whether she was mentally ill when she stabbed Peyton Leitner 19 times, nearly killing her. This particular juror indicated that there that she could not be open-minded um, because of everything that she had heard. She couldn't be fair. Attorneys spent today trying to strike jurors who they say have already made up their minds. When asked his impressions of the case, his response was lock her up or death penalty. I think that shows a bias against the defendant. But the judge made it clear that knowledge of the case alone isn't enough to strike a juror. The concept is that with, with whatever a person knows, can they be fair? listen to the evidence, listen to the instructions as given by the court, and then reach a fair and impartial verdict. As the trial starts Monday, we're preparing for what could be a lengthy selection process. 150 jurors will be here with hopes of paring them down to 16, including four alternates. In the Waukesha County Courthouse, Nick Ford, WISN 12 News. The judge today excused about half of the 40 or so jurors after attorneys on both sides raised concerns. Wire's trial is expected to last about two weeks. Morgan Geyser's trial will be held in October.